What's going on, everybody? What's happening with y'all today? What's going on? Hope everybody having a great day today. I am because I get to review one of my most anticipated cops. I'm still sticking to my number one, man. The um the cement fours. I just want that shoe so bad. Never had it. Nike Air Branded OG All. That's my number one. But this is a close second, man. But let's go on ahead and get into it. You got your Nike box. The OG box, 1985 Air Jordan 1, man. You already know what this is. So the official name on these is Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG. The official colorway is black, varsity red, and white. And they retail for $160. Hope everybody can pay that retail price. I really do. That um, It's nothing like getting a pair of, of sought-after kicks and paying retail because this shoe right here, hopefully it won't be that limited, man. But like I said, I hope everybody get their pair, man. I hope everybody who want them are able to cop, man. But let's go ahead and get into these. Y'all go back and look at my unboxing I did with T. Ward, man. When these box, when the box opened, you actually saw glowing on our face. You actually saw light come out of the box, man. So y'all go ahead and check out that unboxing we did. I throw it up up here somewhere, man. But um, yeah, let's get into these, man. Ooh, they smell good. Hey, bow. Wake up the neighbors. Yes, sir, man. This is the one right here. Literally, the one, the Air Jordan 1 OG High, one of the most iconic sneakers ever, man. I know I sound like a super hype beast right now, but about this shoe, I don't even care, man. This is just classic OG retro 1985, 1984, whatever you want to say, man. This is this is the one, right? This is the one, man. So, um, this is the black and red colorway. People call them bread. People call them black and red. I still call them black and red. Bread is... Mm, slightly hype beasts to me when they came up and just combined the two, <laughs> combined the two words together. But I still call them black and red. Shout out to Jumpman Bostic. He already know what it is with that. Um, quality on these is very good, very supreme. It's not quite shattered backboard quality, but I didn't want them to be shattered, shattered backboard quality because back in the day shoes wasn't that tumbled and like the panels was so soft on the shattered backboards. I, I didn't need it to be that, but the leather is ridiculously soft, man. It is, it's clean, man. Like, it's clean. The black is a little smoother and the red got like a slight tumble on it. It's clean, man. Nike branding on the front. Let's just go on ahead and get into it. Let me get a little closer to y'all. Let's get a little, let's get a little close on this thing. Um, compared to the, um, I can just bring it up real quick. You know, compared to these, um, it's pretty much the same. As far as the black, especially as the black, it's like the same, exact same leather. The tumble, the red has a little tumble in it, but it has that black smooth all the way on the Chicago's. You know what I'm saying? Um, I ain't going to really do no big comparison, man. You, but it, it's, it's, a, it's a good quality shoe. Good leather and all that stuff, man. Of course, you got your black and red upper, white midsole, red bottoms. That's basically the shoe right there. Um, no need for a crazy review, especially when you're talking about the colorway. But everybody want to know about the quality. The quality, in my opinion, in my humble opinion, is superb. I love the quality. I love the quality. You got your uh, Air Jordan logo right there. Like I said, Nike Air branding. You got um, Nike Air branding on the inside as well. And on the inside of this thing right here, so shout out to one of my subscribers. I can't remember who told me, but this is the actual date. I was like, what do all these numbers mean? This is the date. They put the, I knew what the date was, They but they put the date in here kind of backwards. They put the year first, 84. And then they put the month, 10 and 18. That was the year. Uh, that this this color, these kind of colors on uh on basketball sneakers was banned, I guess, from the uh, Jordan shoe. First number is a twelve, and the last is the X, which stand for which stands for banned. Uh, really, I mean, for people who probably didn't know, this wasn't the original band shoe. It was the Nike Airship, which Jordan wore. He didn't even have a signature shoe yet when they started banning darker colorway type shoes. They just didn't want NBA just wanted the players to wear white shoes. That's what they always wore, just the white shoes. And MJ tried to come in with the darker colors, so that's where the whole band situation come from. But um, of course, Michael Jordan was so good they had to bring the shoe back and be like, "Man, you can wear whatever kicks you want to wear." So. In the NBA today, man, we got all kind of colors of kicks going on. But that's it, man. I just wanted to do the quick review on these. Give y'all a good look at them once again. So nice. The um, leather is so good. I love the smell of Air Jordan 1s. I know <laughs> it's crazy sitting around sniffing shoes, but I just... The Air Jordan 1s have this unique smell that no other uh, Jordans got. 
I love it. But anyway, man, that's been my review of these, man. I know y'all want to see these on feet. So let me let y'all go on ahead and check these out. I'm going to go outside too, man. I want another pair. I want another pair. Rotten stock. Oh, feats, man. Do it. Yes, oh, yes, sir. Air Jordan 1, OG High Band, man. Yes, up. Cleanse. I love this shoe. This is grill status right here, man. Y'all might see me walk a little funny. I'm trying to keep these things A1. As long as I can. They're my only pair right now, too, man. For right now, try to get another one. Little ass shot. Booty. Some nice booty right there. Walk away. Yeah. Walk away action. Walk light, walk light. These are dope though, man. Like, very nice. Very cleansed. Oh, cleansed? In my humble opinion. And y'all know what I ain't do? I should I don't know what I'm thinking, man. I ain't do it for these. I gotta give them that clean stamp of approval. Clank, 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 clank. <laughs> I gave him a bunch of clean stamp of approval, man. Just in case you didn't get the first one, man. Here's up. But uh, switch up, switch up with a couple pairs of pants. You know, I had to hit him with the khaki jogger. Yes, up. Cleanse. Yes, up. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Side profile. Bow. Yeah. Front profile. Bow. Other side profile. Bow, bow. <laughs> yes, up. Some booty. Bow, walk away. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. One more time. I'm going to loosen them up a little bit. Some people wear their uh, J like that, a little looser. So I'm going to loosen them up, put them on with some, some jeans, some regular jeans, biker denim action. And last do. but not least, you got the loose look on these guys. I like the way they look like this. I just couldn't wear them like this because I keep feeling like they finna slide on my feet or something. That's what it feel like. Get a little shade out here, but uh, they dope like that too. Like anywhere y'all, anywhere y'all choose to rock a man, this shoe right here, you just can't go wrong with it. Very dope shoe. Cleansed, in my most humble, heartfelt opinion, man. Years up. Slight walk away. Yeah. Cleansed. Get you some. So I uh, hope everybody's able to cop them a pair. Um, very dope shoe. Get a little booty before we go. Last minute ass. Yeah, man. Let's go ahead and get a little round view too while we get it. Uh, ever so slightest. Round view action. Them things cleansed. I don't say it cleansed a hundred times in their vid, man. Woo. That's because they clean. But anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this video, man. I really do hope y'all enjoyed it. But most of all, I hope everybody who wants this shoe is able to cop, man. Like, I hope they bring, they release more pair than they did to Chicago's last year. And I hope everybody who wants them is able to get a pair. They release September the 3rd, which is next uh, Saturday. And they retail for 160 Like I said, um, hope everybody can cop. Uh, Go true to size too. Like I said, go true to size. That's what I was trying to remember. I, I paused that for a second. Go true to size on these, man. Uh, don't go size up, size down, nothing like that. Wide feet, skinny feet. True to size, I think, is the best. It fits like a real joint, man. So anyway, man, y'all hit that thumbs up, like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And keep watching my videos, because that's what I'm here for. Gone.